Welcome back to my channel. My name is Abria Perry. Welcome back. Welcome to if you're new. I'm so excited to be talking to you all today. Today I filmed my everyday makeup look with a little bit of a glam twist. This is kind of what I want to do when I want to look a little bit more put together. It's kind of either with me it's just bare face and a little bit of mascara or it's kind of neutral makeup with some lashes and a pop and gloss that's kind of my pop out i don't do anything too dramatic um this look is very simple it's great for women of color all the products that i use in there um i feel like are relatively affordable obviously you know like some products from sephora are a little bit more expensive but i use like la girl concealer um, in a, like a Morphe palette. I got it off Amazon and this is just kind of what I do when I want to look a little, have a little oomph. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoy. Um, let me know what you think. I actually recently had this look on in an Instagram photo that I recently posted and I will pop that photo up somewhere in here so don't forget to follow me on instagram at i am Bri perry like comment and subscribe please i would love to have you back and without further ado let's get into the video sips team mine's business don't <laughs> i always have some cup of something in front of me when I'm getting ready because I really do sometimes feel like it's an entire project and I need snacks or something but <laughs> yeah so to start off I like to prime my face and I use the baby face um, by Maybelline primer next I'm gonna go in with my Fenty foundation and I am in the color 410. My mom actually got this for me. She is the absolute best when the Fenty stuff came out. She went and got us Fenty products and I was like, oh, you're the absolute best because I was at school and there was no way I was getting any of that in Atlanta. Like, as soon as the forums opened up, as soon as that site opened up, everything was gone. There was no way I was getting anything Fenty. So my mom was nice enough to get this for me. And I am actually home right now for Thanksgiving break. So I had been using, when I use foundation, I had been using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I'm not a huge foundation person um like I don't wear it every day I would much rather focus on skincare and you know keeping my skin really really nice um and spend a whole bunch of money on skincare products than foundation but I definitely love this foundation and I love the fit me when that's what I was using and I'm going in with my real techniques buffing brush this is probably the only brush I have, I've ever used to do foundation. Usually I just use my beauty blender. Um, but I noticed that I really like the way that this foundation goes on when I apply it with my brush and then go over it with my beauty blender. So that's what I've been doing and it's been working out really, really well. Let me tell y'all. I had not gotten my eyebrows done since August. I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, yes, I do. When I got my eyebrows done, before I went to school, she did them a little bit too thin. So I've been growing them out since August. And I got them done on Saturday and I feel like a brand new person. I got my brows done, I got my nails done, got my toes done, like, I just, I had to get it together. I had to get it together. College was taking up my life. So now I'm going in with my LA Girl 
Pro Concealer. I am in the color Fawn. This is my favorite color. I remember one time I had run out of Fawn. And I called myself using Toffee. Tragic. <laughs> it was tragic. That's all I'm going to say. Like. I like to use whatever is kind of left over on my beauty blender from under my eyes and just run that down my nose because when I do contour my nose a little bit later, I already have kind of my highlight portion there. Um, and doing it this way opposed to like using the excess on my beauty blender opposed to just taking my concealer and running a line down my nose it helps me to kind of regulate how much ends up on there because if you use LA girl concealer you know that this comes out way heavier than you kind of would think like a lot comes out of that little brush so you kind of you want to be careful because I don't want to put on so much that it kind of covers my entire nose that's pretty uh counterproductive that's not what we're trying to do we're just because my nose is kind of it has a little round like boop, like it has, it has a little button point to it um so if I put a little bit too much contour on there it's gonna look like I have a knob on my nose <laughs> so you just gotta figure out what works so I like to just put a little bit of concealer on my eyelids um, to prime my eyes for whatever type of eyeshadow I'm going to wear. Sometimes I don't wear eyeshadow. Sometimes I just put the concealer on my eyes and then set that with whatever setting powder I'm using to set my under eyes and the rest of my face. But. I have been wearing the, my Morphe palette. I believe it's the 35 palette. I'm going to link it down below. But it just has all of these really nice um, neutral shades in it. And I have been obsessed with this burnt orangey color right here. It has been so pretty. Like... I feel like this color was made for black girls like me and my friends have this conversation all the time that oranges and yellows were made for black girls like no questions asked color so I have been going in on my crease with this and using it kind of as like my transition shade and it's so nice because it's almost kind of like an orangey brown. So it's not super like overpowering. It's not as though I have just like a bright orange eyeshadow on my lid. I mean in my crease. It's more like subtle. It's very subtle. Especially once I blend it out. The more I blend it out, the more kind of just a flush of color. You want to look put together with the least amount of effort. That's what I've learned in college. <laughs> look like you have it together, even when you really don't. No, I'm completely playing, but not really. <laughs> I have very almond shaped eyes and my lid I don't have that much lid space so it's really important for me that I work with colors that aren't going to completely close out my eyes like I have very little space between my eyelid and my brow bone so I have to be you know aware of that when I am doing my makeup and doing eyeshadows because I could easily have eyeshadow all the way up here <laughs> um so yes so basically what I did was I went in with 
this orangey shade right here. And unfortunately, these don't have any names on them. I think when I got this palette, it had a little clear thing that had the names on them. Um, but I'm sure I can look it up. So I went in with this orangey shade right here. And then I used this chocolatey brown and just mixed a little bit of that in there. And then I like to take a flat shader brush. These eyeshadow brushes that I'm using are from BH Cosmetics and I got them off Amazon. They're super affordable. Um, I got them a few years ago, but I'm sure there's probably something still similar there and I will try to find something and link it below. So then I have been liking to go in with any of these shades at the top. The camera's not really doing them justice, but they're a little bit kind of champagne-y. Um, just something to make my eyelid look like it's kind of still there um, and it's not just my crease color because like I said my eyes are small so my crease it's inevitable that my crease color sometimes gets on my lid because there's not that much space like I said um, so it's important for me or I like to go back in with something to kind of demarcate my lid from my transition color and then you know blend that out so that I have that that transition <laughs> for lack of a better word that's what it is um so I'm just going to use my flat shader brush and put a little bit of this on my lid large and then I'm just going to use a clean kind of fluffy brush this is a real technique real techniques brush and I like to just dab that in because these colors are pretty pigmented, so when I just put that on my other flat shader brush, a pretty hefty amount came on there. I don't know if you all can see that. But a good amount is on there, so I can't really use it to blend it in. So I like to pack on a little bit in the center, like I said, and then use this brush to kind of blend it out to how I want it and I use the Satcha buttercup powder I'm a huge fan of this powder I think that again it is really really good for women of color um, it works really well on my skin tone and I have friends who are darker than me lighter than me and it works really well for them as well I feel like the yellow definitely helps to, you know, kind of be a bit more of a neutralizer rather than some powders like the L'Oreal um, Laura Mercier translucent powder. It has a little bit more of a beigey kind of like white undertone. Or I've also used the Makeup Forever HD setting powder, and I feel like. They just make me look a bit ghostly, which is never what you're looking for. So I like to kind of pack that in um, with my beauty blender as though it is, even though it's a loose powder, I like to kind of pack it like it's a pressed powder. And then I like to use my big fluffy brush to kind of just get it in there a little bit more and then put a little bit on my fluffy brush and do my forehead and all of that Alrighty. and then I've been using dark cocoa in the LA girl concealer pro concealer to just contour because it's been a little bit quicker um, than using the powder because when I use the powder I usually mix I usually mix two shades and this has just been a little bit easier for me so it's what I've been doing and then I like a little bit on my nose kind of in a little half circle type thingy and then a little arch like that because like I said I kind of have a little button nose and um, that just gives me the best result 
and if you do use this cocoa and you're close to my complexion or maybe a little bit lighter than me you want to be careful I would say start with a little bit and then if you need more place some more on because it can get kind of muddy it can start to look muddy if you put too much on from the jump and it's pretty hard to clean up if you feel like you put too much on so I would say you can always put more on but you can't necessarily take it off especially if you do your makeup like me and you've already set your under your eye you already set all of this it's like your whole face is basically done you don't want to mess yourself up <laughs> um, by messing up your contour at the very end of doing your makeup and then I like to just blend in my nose I know some people use some people use a brush to do their nose it depends on what kind of mood I'm in usually I just use my beauty blender for pretty much my whole face because it's convenient it's convenient and if anybody knows of a way to just make your beauty blender look cleaner like my beauty blender is clean I wash all my beauty blenders after every time I do my makeup and it, they just always look disgusting and I'm pretty sure it's just because obviously the colors that I use to do my makeup are darker so they stain a little bit more but I don't know it bothers me so I'll use a new beauty blender like all the time just so that I don't have to look at a dirty beauty blender <laughs> and then my final face step is highlight uh my favorite of oh, my favorite Oh, my favorites are my favorites. And I like to use the Becca Cosmetics Opal. This is the little mini travel size. This is what I brought home with me. And unfortunately, it got all smashed up in my suitcase at the airport. So I can't really turn it up to show you guys without spilling it all over the place but this is one of my favorite highlighters again really really nice for women of color it doesn't give it's not too frosty I think it's important when black women are getting highlighters to remember who the highlighter is made for that's pretty much any makeup um, that we wear <laughs> but particularly highlighters because obviously with foundations and stuff we know we're not going to use certain shades but with highlighters it's important to you know remember the undertones and what like kind of the more subtle things in the highlighter might be because I've gotten highlighters and you know seen them and be like oh my goodness that's so pretty and then it's just too icy too not not for Brie let's put it that way <laughs> but yes but opal works very well for me it has a little bit more of a pinky tone to it and I personally really like it so I like to just ooh. <laughs> it works really well for me and I like to obviously I am not a makeup artist I'm not a professional this is how I do my face it is what works for me and I just wanted to share it with you all because maybe it'll work for somebody else I feel like these steps are pretty easy nice and beginner friendly and I like to put a little bit on my button nose and I'm going to put on my mascara, do my hair, and then I'll come back and show you all the finished look. So I am back. This is the finished look. I did my lips and I put on some eyelashes. I absolutely love these lashes. Unfortunately, they don't have a brand on them or anything like that. I get them from my aunt and she gets them from like the beauty supply whole um sailor. So 
I don't know who they're by, but if I can find some that are similar, I'll definitely link them below. I really, really like them because they are not too long for my eyes. Like I said, I have small almond-shaped eyes. So um, sometimes if I use certain lashes, it can look like I'm flying away because I have extra kind of just everywhere. And then when I cut them, they still kind of don't do right. Um, so yes, I use those for my lashes and I also use my Stila Huge Lashes. This is just the mini size of it because pretty much all my makeup that I brought with me is travel size. And then for my lips, I used oh, this combo that is just my heart right now I am loving this combination it is cork by Mac the lip pencil and then this is the gloss bomb Fenty gloss bomb in Fenty glow and it is so pretty like it is just so so pretty so uh, that is my finished look I hope you all love this look i hope this was helpful i hope it is helpful for women of color and i hope that you guys recreate this look thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram at i am brie perry